Before you witness the x -pocalypse. experience the definitive version of the X-Men, as long as you grew up in the 90s. Look what she did to the VCR just by touching it! X-Men, the animated series. Return to the era of super soakers and pizza bagels. Pizza! In a decade where no one gave a crap about the Avengers, for the first comic adaptation to combine quips and bright colors with depth and high stakes, all wrapped up in a theme song that's been stuck in your head for decades. I mean, seriously, if Professor X was real, all I'd hear is but -na, na 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 Suit up with an X-Men team you're pretty damn familiar with by now, who are all pretty much the same as their movie counterparts, except the spandex is yellower, the rogues are sexier, and Jubilee is a main character for some reason. Because what the X-Men really need is a mall rat with the power of sparkles. I have apprehended the leader of the mutant rebellion. Stop trying to make Jubilee happen, show. It's not gonna happen. Return to the mid-90s on Fox, where in between reruns of Ink the Cat and Power Rangers, you'd watch the X-Men bring classic storylines to life. Mission accomplished, buddy. Okay. Like the Phoenix Saga that was so much better than X3, Days of Future Past that's as good as Days of Future Past, and a Weapon X episode that's so much better than Wolverine Origins, you'll almost give them a pass for the half s Season 5 where they moved production to the Philippines. To get the other half of the crystal is waltz right into Magnus's fortress. Yeesh. Don't get any ideas, singer. Prepare for a series that's about so much more than fighting supervillains. It's also about fighting prejudice. No more mutants! No more mutants. As racist and bigots of all stripes are defeated by a stereotypical southerner. Lalandra's out cold in a leftover hush puppy. Stereotypical Cajun. There's always more gators in the bio. Stereotypical Russian. Dos Vidanya. And stereotypical German. Of course, Fräulein. Because nothing defeats stereotypes like a different, more powerful stereotype. So gear up for this 90s cartoon that's great despite being very much a product of its time. Surrender, mutant. Of course. Not making copies. That might be the second best superhero series ever made. And when first place is Batman, second place ain't half bad. Starring Sentinels sucking at their jobs. Still plugged in. Storm yelling at nature. I summon the Arctic winds. Rain, wind, lightning, rain, lightning, thunder. Awesome Easter eggs. His name is Cable. Assassin. It's Miss Marvel. Wolverine trying to curse. All right, you egg sucking piece of gutter trash. Out of my way, dog breath. Come on, you piece of alien gutter trash. Cliffhangers. <laughs> no! Wolverine grunting. <laughs> Scott and Jean yelling each other's names. Scott! Jean! Scott! Jean! Scott! Jean! Scott! Jean! Scott! Jean? Jean! And Jean Grey's exgasms. Is it weird that this is kind of turning me on? X-Men, better than the movies. You know the only thing better than the intro? The Japanese intro. Sugoi. Be sure to subscribe for more honest trailers. It's not just a phase, Dad. Sometimes when I close my eyes, I can't see. I hope they cast Rob Schneider as Cable. Hold the door, hold the door, hold door. I like shorts, they're comfy and easy to wear.